Q&A time. Today we respond to your questions. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugin, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixpress TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. And if you're learning from the videos, please consider using the super thanks down here, the new feature and support the channel. Let's get to the video. Sound like Lotus. What's your favorite way to increase the perceived loudness without crushing or making a track harsh? Well, there's several tools that I, I think I talked about them like very, very often in my videos. Saturation would be one. What kind of saturation? It depends on the song. You know, sometimes the HG2 is the ticket. Sometimes the Vintage Drive is the ticket. Sometimes the Neves is the ticket. Sometimes it's a plugin. Compression. Compression can help you to increase perceived loudness or actually even measurable loudness, like RMS, because it makes the track denser. Um, without making it harsh, it's simply because you're using the wrong si kind of saturation if you do something like that and you're making it harsh. The other thing is you're trying to, because loudness, a lot of loudness is the mid-range, right? When two tracks that measure the same, one has more mid-range energy, we perceive that as louder even if they measure the exact same level, okay? So a lot of people try to push that mid-range and that mid-top range to try to make it sound louder. And it's a good technique, but that's the byproduct. If you push it too much, it becomes harsh and it also becomes unlistenable when you actually turn the volume up and listen it loud. That's one test that I always do, you know, with my mains, there's like, 10, 15 seconds in which I really crank the volume. That's another reason because you need big speakers in your studio and really crank it. You're done for the day. So you do it at the end of the day usually. You really need to crank it. And here at that moment, if, if you do this and if you go, damn, that's like, it hurts my ears, then you're out of balance, okay? It should never hurt your brain when you when you listen something loud. And at least this is what I think, this is what I consider a good mix. I hope this answered the question. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, 